was made, yeah. then there had to be that follow-up call. What was that conversation? I, I have not spoken directly to the owners of the uh, Watertown store yet today, and I do intend to do that. Can you tell us what your personal account is? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to venture a guess that they are not, uh, but I don't know that 100% certainly. Uh, is Jim Whitney resident or somebody just traveling through the area? Well, he's good, isn't he? I said I wasn't going to answer any more questions about the individual in there. Come back at 1 o'clock or stay. We'll get you some water and coke. Can you, can you say what the winner, what she, what she said, I mean, when she, when she walked up to, I don't know, whomever, hey, I'm the winner, just, uh, just give us a little quote of what happened when she walked up here this morning? Because that was, must have been a pretty big deal for everyone around here. Well, you know what? I, I did not sleep at a Holiday Inn last night, and I am not a psychologist. Uh, but needless to say, I think this person... Uh, from my quick interaction with her is, is what I would call uh, sort of your prototypical Massachusetts resident. Um, I think you're going to uh, be taken by her. Uh, I think she probably has a good story. And um, I think she actually represents probably what's the best about our lottery players here in the Commonwealth. I get qu asked questions about them all the time as if somehow I know every individual person who plays the lottery. Clearly I don't, none of us do. <laughs> Uh, but I, my perception of her is someone who's a hardworking individual uh, who appears to be a fairly regular lottery player. Uh, but I'll let her address that question uh, as much as possible. Clearly, she's excited. Were those numbers uh, terrific numbers or custom? You know what? I, I don't know. And we'll, we'll, she'll address that maybe when she comes down here. How soon after the drawing did you know it was sold in Massachusetts? Uh, pretty quickly. I think right, uh, right after midnight. Uh, what happens is we receive notification from the national organization who notifies all the lotteries as to uh, whether or not they have some level of winners. And so that information is transmitted to us and that began the domino effect that I spoke about earlier. What happens to the ticket? Is she still in possession of the ticket or is it now in a secured location? Uh, currently, probably she is still in possession of the ticket. We have taken the ticket to uh, verify that it is indeed uh, the winning ticket uh, for the obvious reasons. We have validated the ticket. It is indeed the winning ticket. Has there been any communication with the national organization on this or the, the mix-up this morning? Uh, no, there hasn't been. Uh, you know, the, the <coughs> announcement of the location in of itself is not something that would uh, normally be on the radar screen of the national organization that runs Powerball. And they're more concerned with internal procedures and correct accounting and things of that nature. Uh, but both of our systems, their system clearly, as well as our system internally, uh, recognize the numbers as well as the agent involved. It's a pretty complex software system uh, that's maintained by both parties. All right, so 1 o'clock, I would really urge you all to stay. And again, I, I just want to make this last point very clear. I apologize to each of you and also to the particular store owner involved in Watertown. Uh, everyone's got a tough enough day out there, let alone 2 a.m., 6 a.m., uh, and I can only imagine the reaction in your individual newsrooms. Uh, again, the responsibility's on me. We acknowledge the mistake, we corrected it, and we'll try to do better going forward. Please stay until 1 o'clock.